abrupto placenta. What does that mean? That means that the placenta has separated from the uterine wall. So we're going to pretend that this circle right here is the uterus. This right here is the cervix, the entrance to the uterus. And a abrupto placenta or placenta eruption, abruption, uh, you might hear it two different ways, but I'm going to call it abrupto placenta. What happens is that it's just what it sounds like. The placenta ruptures, or you could say it tears away from the uterine wall. You have a full separation of the placenta from the uterine wall, or you have a partial separation. See where it's just like a little pocket separates. This is not that big of a deal, but it can turn into this, and this is a big deal. So, what's going to cause this, and what does this mean for the baby? So, a few things can, can make abrupt placenta occur. One is hypertension. Uh, that one is a possibility, but in EMS, the one you'll come across uh, more is trauma. So, if your patient has fallen down the stairs, they were in a pretty bad car accident, that movement uh, will cause the placenta to actually tear. That is a possibility. Also, you hear that drugs like cocaine, cigarettes, that also causes, could cause uh, abrupt placenta, but that's more for test purposes. As an ENT, you might deal with that, you might not. Um, but let's keep moving on here. So, with abrupt placenta, a partial abrupt placenta, you may not have any bleeding coming out of the vagina. So, you may or may not have vaginal bleeding. However, with a full separation, a full tear, a full abrupt placenta, you will definitely have bleeding coming out of your patient. They are going to have, they are going to be in pretty bad pain, especially with this one, because it's like taking a scab off. You're pretty much taking a big scab off the uterine wall, and that's really, really going to hurt your patient. So they're going to be in very, very bad shape. Also, understand that if the placenta separates and it's like taking a scab out, you're going to have a lot of blood that's going to be taken out of circulation out of your patient's body so that's going to lead to hypovolemic shock so if your patient has an elevated heart rate and a low blood pressure it could be because of a lot a lot of blood loss so i'm going to go over it one more time just kind of show you what's good what's bad and what's worse so this is a normal baby in the uterus the placenta will be fully attached to the uterus baby is good they're happy they're, they're eating and they're alive, right? A partial abruption means that either just a little segment of the placenta is torn off. They have a little pool of blood right here. Um, this may or may not be a big deal. It's It really becomes a big deal when it turns into this. When the blood pulls up and a lot of pressure is built. If enough pressure is built behind these pockets, it could tear the entire thing off. You're, Little, your baby will still be alive. So the baby will still be alive even with a partial abrupt placenta because there is still that exchange, that exchange of blood between the baby and the mother. However, with the complete abrupt placenta, there is no more exchange because the placenta is completely detached from the uterine, the uterine wall, the uterus. So then this baby is going to die. It's not going to be good. Uh, that's pretty much it as far as abrupt to placenta. We went over the causes, what's going to cause it, what could cause it, what to expect, hypovolemic shock. Um, ble may not have bleeding with the partial. You will definitely have bleeding with the complete abrupt to placenta. And let me know if you have any questions. Leave a comment below and I will answer them. See you later. Bye.